<laughs> okay, I think I've worked it. <laughs> you did it! Yay! Yay! Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. It's very exciting. Can you hear me okay? I hear you perfectly, yes. And I'm just going to turn you up a bit. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I'm so okay. excited to talk to you. So did you have a night sleep in? I did have enough time. I mean, I have some sleep lines on my face, but I tried to cover them up the best that I could. <laughs> That's okay, because I've probably got the sags from, you know, it's time for bed here in downtown. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know, but I'm glad. I know. Thank you so much. You're so generous. You're like, we can do it at 11. I'm like, that has got to be too late. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's okay. Anything for you, anytime. You know oh that. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for talking with me. I, um, you have no idea when you post just, you, you're like, you're doing all the lessons and it makes me so, so happy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just as I said to you before like I wish there were more hours in the day like this is just this is just you like look oh my goodness look let at alone that. everything else that's um you know I've got one just for my um drawings that that I did all the faces and that in so that's over there but I just bought the mixed media so I thought that's that's what we want to talk about but you know I mean, oh my again, gosh you know this is just all my um tone paper ones you know so yeah Karen I mean seriously seriously you know what I, I'm going to show you something I love this picture so much that I had it made into a tin yes that is unbelievable why don't you oh my gosh I know you know what that I don't have her anymore I accidentally um I did her in a gigantic altered book and then I waited so long, I forgot that she was in there and I actually tossed the book because I was oh. like, oh, I'm not using it. And then I was like, oh my God, that like one project was in there. But I mean, I have a million photos, but yeah, no. I'm but like horrified that I did that <laughs> to myself. But... I don't blame you. Oh my God, that's one of my favorites. I love her. I, I, I love the too. mistake you made and I love the, the tear. Exactly. Right? <laughs> that was like a project gone awry that ended up being the best project ever. That was like. I, yeah, definitely. I know. I love that. Oh my gosh. I have a hundred million questions for you. <laughs> oh, go for it. Please. Karen. I mean, just, um, so first of all, this is being recorded. I hope that that is it's okay. Fine. Yeah, I that's just, fine. I, you're, um, I'm just blown away by how many projects you do. I think just a lot of people sign up and then they do a couple or they only do my new ones and they mm -hmm. don't, they don't take advantage of the whole library of lessons that are in there. Yep. And um, you do like you go in and do all the things. And mm -hmm. I just wanted to hear you like hear what mode. Well, let's start from the beginning. First of all, okay. were you, sure. like, were you a creative kid? Like what got you into art now in your life? Is it always something that you wanted to get back to? Or is this totally new for you? It's it's actually totally new. So I've been a scrapbooker for 20 years. Okay. So um, I did a journal class about two years ago and I liked that mixed media. I thought, oh, that's really good, you know. Mm -hmm. So I started doing that. And then um, the teacher at the time tried to get me to draw a face. Well, I ended up using a stencil and I still wasn't happy with that. Mm -hmm. And then last year, I don't know, you must have popped up on Facebook or something and I thought I might give that a I go, you know, go into YouTube and that's that's basically how I started. So mm -hmm. November last year was my first YouTube class that I did with you. And then come March, I went, no, I can, you know, after watching YouTube and all that, I mean, I'm 59, mm -hmm. not that I acted and none of my girlfriends will say that either. I don't act it. Um, but I just enjoy the lessons. I love how you teach. You know, I don't feel that it has to be perfect. Um, you know, and you just give, how can I, you're so easy and you, you know, you, it's easy to learn from you. And that's what I found. You know, I've tried to look at other classes and all that, but as my best girlfriend said, she goes, you found your niche with Karen, you know, you're happy with Karen and, and you can see it in, in your artwork. It just comes out fabulous. And, you know, the, the amount of people that have said how much I've grown, um, over the past, well, it's not even 12 months since I've 
first saw you on YouTube and it's only been since March in the classes. But I just want to learn. I'm that sort of person. And, and it's the same with business. I always want to learn. And I don't, and I always believe it doesn't matter how old you are, mm-hmm. you can always learn. And that's that's basically how I started with you. So I was a scrapbooker going from journaling, going to drawing. So, and I still use my journals, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's, I think that's amazing. And I, that's also one of the reasons why I wanted to talk to you because so many of my students are like in their 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. And I think a lot of them are kind of like embarrassed to be starting, you know, and you're such a great example of like, you just dove in and like, just did everything. <laughs> you and just I still try to. Thing. Like you just followed the lessons. It wasn't like a big deal, but you just, it'd be just engaging in them. Like, look where you are now. Okay. So can you, t- can you hand up that tone paper drawing? The one of the, sure. the fairy, because for someone who had never drawn a face 10 months ago, and then that drawing is absolutely st- like stunning you know I mean that's knocks my socks off I mean that's just insane I love that one and this is also sorry I love her as well she's one of my favorites yes and she is the first that's the introduction in case people don't know the introduction to drawing on tone paper um and that one is a few years old but it doesn't stop you from going and doing it I love it I know it's so striking there's, you know, there's <laughs> there's a truckload to go through. But right. what I did was I put I pulled out my first ever lesson that I did with you last year. Mm-hmm. And it's it's so funny, it's in a journal, of course. Where it's that's my second one. Oh, you did the little rockabilly lady from YouTube. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. That's yes. my first ever lesson. So right. that's um which is fantastic. But November. compared, but compared to what you're doing now, you know exactly. When you even look at this one, because I was on a roll in November, mm-hmm. um, with with your, <laughs> I look back at these and I go, oh my god. So there was that one. Yes, 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 yes. And that one also. Yes. So. And those were all from my well, that second girl on the right, and the first one you showed me were using the face template right so when yes, you're using the template, you weren't even drawing those from scratch and now you no. draw everything from scratch yes correct yeah so that was my first experience with you on youtube and i thought this is, i could do this so then i just kept watching and learning and learning and i love your classes and as i said before you're fun to teach with and i love that you make mistakes as well because that um, you know, it's not pristine and, and then people can see that, you know, you don't have to be perfect. If you make a mistake, just, you know, it's, as you said, it's a piece of paper. You can always do it again or just embrace your mistakes. It's that simple. You know, we all make mistakes. I did one of yours, another mixed media class about two weeks ago and I went, oh, my God, this is just horrid and I still don't like it, but it's in my book. So, you know, um, this is all you. This is just my mixed media book, which is an Australian um, heritage cookbook yes. that I've just altered. So it's quite thick, as you can see, pages are coming out, but it's my favourite book. And I've only got about five pages left. So oh my goodness, but this Karen. is like my favourite book. So yeah. and my first lesson, lesson in there is one of my favourites. Yes. Is my girl. I love that one. I love, love, yeah. love. She, I did her in a journal too, as you know. Um, yeah. Oh, it's outstanding. I know. It's just outstanding. You know, she's one of, but this is just, I mean, this is, there's my my girl. Yes. I had the tin made off. Yes. Yes. So it's, um, oh. sorry about the, um, but it's just, I've just picked out my favourites. This is one of my favourites. Oh, my God. See, Karen, I mean, you, it's just oh, outstanding. Yeah love i love her i mean there's so many i mean the whole book is the favorites but i've just picked out yeah. this one when i when i did her and i was on about the second layer i think and i thought oh I'm not this i'm just not feeling this mm-hmm. and then i kept going and kept going and she's actually one of my favorites now i love her i just mm-hmm. love the the tone and the the finish it's just she's just beautiful i and this is do you like, yeah, yeah. So I feel just, the same yeah. way. Well, I remember making her and being like, oh God, like <laughs> what is going to happen here? Like, this is not going to work. Karen, you literally have done every single project. It's so yep. cool to see them love- all come to fruition. 
This is my one that I did a couple of weeks ago, but I'm, I'll show you. But I'm not really happy with her. I'm full of my. You know. Okay, I haven't it's, seen a single person do that one. Yeah. I like to do, I try and get all of them done if I can. And, of course, my favourite one at the back as well. Yes! So, I have little, her. She's sitting right behind me. I love that one <laughs> so much. <laughs> And the one that so like here is all messed up on one side and not on the other. I'm like, wow, yeah, that's but it's what fun. It, that's what it looks like. So that's what we're gonna do, right? Exactly. You know. Oh my gosh. So, okay. So I have a huge question for you. And yeah, feel sure. free to show me anything because I, 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 sure. I, I, you just you're so prolific and it's astounding. So this is a question that people ask me that I get asked quite a lot, and I. Sure. Um, I'm not afraid of the question. What I don't like is that I feel like I'm like, um, well, the question is this. People ask me like, why, you're on YouTube, so why would I ever pay for any of your classes? They're like, okay. I can get everything for free on YouTube. And I, I, it's a really valid question, but I feel like a used car salesman answering it. So I would actually really love to hear a student answer that question because. Sure. So. so for me, as I said, I started on YouTube with you. But I think there's a, such a big difference between YouTube and the classes. As you know, I've, I'm in all three, the mixed media, the um, Fun Fab and the Celtic Club. With the YouTube, you don't get the information that you give us in the clubs. It's as basic and as simple as that. You know, you can watch YouTube. Yes, you can start and stop and start and stop. But, you you know, YouTube's are great, but your um, lessons, you explain everything in depth you go through all the materials in depth you go through the sketching of the the face in depth you go through layer by layer by layer in depth and that's how I've grown so as I said to you last year yep I went on YouTube did my my couple I started with and then but over the last since I joined the clubs in March so in the last eight months you can see how much I've grown because it's so in depth you know when I actually go into um, YouTube, I get frustrated because I'm expecting that whole, you know, that whole class thing that I'm used to. And I go, oh, Drax, what was that you did? And, you know, and stop. That's the difference that I find between YouTube. Yes, you can go in, you can get your, your freebies, but you don't get that in-depth teaching that goes with it. That's, that's my views. Yeah. And I've grown, I think. Yeah. Oh, you've grown like an outstanding. I mean, when I look at your work now, I you know, it looks like a professional artist did it, but thank you. And it's because you're doing all the lessons. I find the same thing with Bryn, you know, Bryn Wynn, who's in the Facebook group, yes. who's yes. so established. I mean, she's a phenomenal she does some artist. Fabulous. Yeah. And I feel like her journey is very similarly is very similar because she simply does all the lessons. She just follows yeah. the lessons. It's not like a, it's not something that you have, you don't have to come with arm loads and luggages of talent. You simply like kick back, relax and press play. Exactly. And it's Stop and start. Easy. It's and that's as easy. easy. As yes. Yep. Oh my gosh. I know I, you're, you're just, your progress and your work and your proliferation is just really made it just yeah, I'm just very proud but of I you thank and you. Your, your work. It's really, really the coolest thing. Do you um do you create for any reason other than it just like what are your reasons for, for creating every day? I I create for myself. It's pleasurable to create. And I've always been that sort of person. I don't go to the movies because I can't sit still for two hours. It's basically that's what it is. I've always got to have my hands doing mm -hmm. something. So I've always um, created for myself, like I've done, um, you know, scrapbooking over the years and I have a silhouette and I do things like that. But basically, if I'm making a present for someone, I get the satisfaction of seeing them. You know, as far as my art goes, I get excited waiting for the finished product. And it's for me. You know, my husband, he's in the lounge room. I come out and I go, oh, look what I've done. He goes, it's great, honey. You know, And I know that he supports me, but he goes, oh, you know, he's too busy watching the footy. So um, it's basically for me. I create art for me. And I, and I hope when I do go to God that my children will take that on and look back as um, that's something that will be handed down, you know, saying that, wow, well, look what mum did or look what nana did or so on and so on years to come. Yeah. 
that's that's a, that's a, the, my exact reasons why I create as well. It's like for the just pure joy, the, the joy that comes from it. Yeah, I love that. I was just curious if you had yeah. wanted to sell any of your pieces or what what nope. your reason was for diving in because I, I I feel exactly the same way. Um, and that's what's so amazing about those journals too is that there you have so many masterpieces all just in a lovely in just in one book in like book. it's like a yeah. miracle <laughs> i know like my mum always says to me because she's she's very she's in the arts well she's a bit older now so she's retired but she always says to me they're so good why don't you sell them i said because you can't explain i'm not a professional for starters i said but my heart and soul goes into each of those yeah. i know and that's feels well for me and i love showing my mum, and i love showing my daughter and but that's my pleasure and I don't, you know, I don't want to be, I mean, yeah, if I made millions maybe, but I'm happy just doing them in my journal and just having a good time. You know, in my workroom, which I'll do you a quick roundabout later, um, you know, I sit in here, I've got my TV, I've got my Netflix, I've got all that, and I just sit and I just create, you know. That's that's a fun night for me. I'm quite happy, you know, we're, we're the most lockable down city in the world. Um, you know, we're, we've out, outgrown everyone else. So we've had lots of time mm -hmm. to ourselves where we haven't been able to go out and that's where you have been a blessing because I've learnt and I've grown in that lockdown period, which we're still in lockdown. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm so hard. To, yep. Sorry to hear that. Um, but I, I, I am just like you. That's why I don't sell my work. People are like, you don't sell your work. And I'm like, that. I don't, <laughs> shoot, that's not why I create. I create because I absolutely love it. And I love the joy it brings me like, period. That's, that's, that's it for that's me. It. Like, I'm, I'm not doing those pieces to get rich. I'm doing them because I just love it. And I want other people to, I want to share that joy with other people. That's my end game. So I just love that you know, other people are experiencing the joy that I'm putting out just for the joy. Cause that's the whole point. Exactly. The whole exactly. Point. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Just so. for the joy. And I love, as I said before, I love your attitude and the way you teach and you're not, you know, you're not strict and you're not this, 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 and this it's, you know, this, Oh shit. You know, that, that yeah. I've spilled that will just, you know, yeah. and that's what I love because that's very similar to me yeah oh good well i'm yeah. glad that that resonates with you and that um and that that style works i definitely find that mixed media especially is so much of it winds up being problem solving um yeah. like every project you know <laughs> i was just really i was just having a conversation with another online art teacher and and we were talking about video editing and yeah. she was like well you know i just i think it's so boring like i won't film things like you know it takes me 20 times to get the paint from the palette onto the <laughs> hey. she's like so i don't put that in and i was like what do you mean you don't put that in and she was like well i just think it's really boring i'm like yeah but how do your students know then that it take you need to do it you 20 times that's like vital information. It's just like, I just think it's super boring and I'm not coming down on her. I love her to pieces, but yeah, to me, yeah. I was like, wait, but I leave in everything, everything because that's the whole point is so you to be like, Hey, this takes forever. Like, okay, yeah, well, let's exactly. do it together. So I, th I think that's so interesting. And, and I'm, I'm glad because I, when, when she was saying that it had never it never dawns on me to not include all the things and then i was like oh oh geez sorry students you've been watching a lot of boring footage then because i leave everything in i just miss that 20 minutes but you'll catch up yeah it's just, yeah that's what i love about you because you do film everything you know and as i said before like the one with the tears you right. know when you drop the ink you know a lot of teachers would have edited that out started again oh, got up yeah. to that point and done it but for us, it's good to see that, you know, you stuff up oh, and, yeah. you know, and you've made it work and we stuff up, but you make it work because that's the way that we've been taught by you. Yeah, no, I'm so yep. glad. I'm so glad that that, that has <clears throat> become a good thing because <laughs> I yeah. certainly didn't know, but I am glad that that's a good thing. So <laughs> that is awesome. Um, I, I have a few more questions for you. Go for that's it. Okay. Um, I know that you are in the Wonder Bundles, which means that you're in all three clubs. How do you decide what project you're going to work on on a particular day? Okay, so mixed media is my first one. 
that's I go in first and foremost, then a fun fab, and you'll notice it's Celtic. I've only just started doing Celtic Club. Mm -hmm. So I suppose for me it's working out. Um, once I did one of the Celtics, I thought, oh, this can be me, you know, and um, then I did four. Um, I suppose the hardest is I want to do everything mm -hmm. and you only have X amount of <laughs> hours in the day, obviously. Mm -hmm. So I suppose I love faces and I and I love doing those, but I love the mixed media component, you know, using the Stabilo all and, and Mod Podge and, and all that sort of stuff. So I always go for those first. That's my four, first and foremost. Mm -hmm. um, but then... <sighs> It's really hard to decide. You just literally flip a coin and go, right, that's the one I'm doing. Okay. Because as you said before, I like to try and get all of them done. So, and, you know, it's going to be, I'll never catch up. And I understand that. So you have to sort of pick your, what you really want to do, even though they're going to be there forever. And I'll be there forever until I die. So, you know, but um, with the new lessons, I try and get them done straight away. So, um you know, whatever, which you would have noticed, I couldn't wait for the tulips to finish off because I, you know, caught up with those. So I try and do the new ones first and then go backwards. So I basically, yeah, pick the new ones, I, you know, the Art Deco one. I can't wait for the Adams family, you know. So I'll do all those, but I'll do all some older ones in between. In between. Okay, good. Yeah. So how, <clears throat> so I love that you said that you can never catch up because I think that is true. <laughs> and I think, but I know that a, a, some people do get overwhelmed by the amount of content. So are there any tips or anything that you can share to, to, to sure. so that people don't find themselves overwhelmed? Because that makes me feel awful because I'm like, that's not my intention um, when they join and they have access to so many lessons. Is there like a, yeah, like what are, what are your tips that keep you from becoming too overwhelmed? I think the number one is do it at your own pace. That's that's probably the best advice that I could give someone. Don't be overwhelmed. Yes, there are a lot of classes in there, but do it at your own pace. If you feel that you can only do one a week or one a month, just do that. Don't feel overwhelmed. You know, like me, <laughs> I like to do one a night, you know, so um, <laughs> that's just me. Um, but don't feel overwhelmed. You just need to... Decide which, you know, have a wish list and just say, right, I want to really do this one first and just have a top 10 and just click off your top 10. Right, I'll finish those 10, another top 10. And don't just don't feel overwhelmed. You know, different people work at different paces. You know, some, I'm probably a bit like you, I'm full on and I'm out there and, you know, I've got to get this done, I've got to do this and move on and move on. But then there's other people, you know, just relax. Don't, you know, that's my best advice. Just pick your best and tick them off and take your time. You know, it's not a race against anyone. Anyone, Everyone's their own person. You put 10 of us in a room and we're all totally different. So just take your time and enjoy the process. That's That, that would be my advice. I love it. I love it. I, I feel the same way. And I hope, I hope that helps some people who are feeling that pressure um, yeah. because there's absolutely no need. Um, there's no pressure. No, and I think too, because we're all also creating for joy. So if it makes you happy to go slow and do one at a time, then go slow and do one. Well, at a time. Yeah. And if your spaz is like us, then. <laughs> That's right. And then you've got five different books and you've got watercolor paper and you've got you know what else can i buy that's coming out this week or oh, i need that because karen's used that you know i've bought stuff that you haven't even used it yet you know and i just keep oh you'd be very proud of me someone i'll put on buy swap swell 20 pit pens in the in the large <gasps> i bought them oh, um yes <laughs> yes <laughs> but, um hello do it do you think i really really need more I know. I hoard them too. I do. I do. I hoard them. But they last forever. So it's not a bad thing. Exactly. Exactly. And do you, how do you, uh, and I, because I don't think you, you, how do you keep yourself from comparing yourself with others, especially when you first started and you weren't whipping up these amazing mag yep. masterpieces and you were learning? Is there anything that, you know, kept you from saying, I can't do this? See you later. Yeah, or like what kept you what kept you from keeping that from you know posting in the Facebook group, which is always optional, but like what kept you from shying away from just showing up even if your works were not perfect that week? I think um as 
it's hard, you know, when you first go into the group, it is a bit overwhelming because there's some amazing women, like amazing. Yeah. You know, even, to, and and thank you for the compliment that I've grown, but I'm still amazed. And and then there's even newbies that come in and say, oh, you know, I've never drawn this as my first one. I just go, that's amazing. Like, <laughs> if that's your first one and the first time you post it in the group, that's amazing. And I think people just... I mean, we're all self-critical and we're all very critical of ourselves. And I think you've just got to take that leap and just everyone's so positive in the group. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, when I've posted some things and I think, oh, my God, that's so crappy. But the positive that everyone gives you from the group makes you feel, wow, you know, maybe I can do this and and just keeps you up. And, you know, like the admin group you've got, the girls always comment on so much the same with you you comment there's a couple of girls in the group that comment on everything you know and you just like it gives you a good feeling that people that are similar to yourself in the group that are appraising your work and I and I believe that it's such a good group no one's ever negative no one has that negative feeling and it just makes you feel good to get those likes and that's fantastic Karen or what you know just I think that peps you up a bit more. So you should never be afraid. No one would ever say anything bad about your work, whether you're a first time or you've put in 100 photos. Everyone's just so positive in the group. Yeah. I'm glad you think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. It's like really I'm, I'm always blown away by by the comments and the niceties oh, and, and amazing. You know, people, could, people don't have to do that. They could pop in, post their work, and then, you know, just collect your likes and leave. And I'm always exactly. totally blown away by how much people come and show up for other people and cheer them on. So that makes me so happy. Um, I love that so much. I just, um, bum, 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 bum. Uh, I'm looking through my questions. Oh, you do, you, do you find um, about navigating around Awesome Art School, do you find, I, you've been with me in the last 10 months as and I've yep. made a few changes, changes. Yep. to try to make navigating easier and the guides and everything are the, how, and I've, and I'm actually mortified to say that I haven't actually asked a student in person. Sure. You can be totally honest with me. Do you find navigating around the sites? easy from a technology perspective or I find it easier now than it was okay. so you just go I always have the three tabs open so on my computer I always have mixed media fab and Celtic always open so it's easier just to scroll down hit the green button it takes you straight to the lesson so okay, I find so it a lot easier yeah. okay so using the visual yeah. index to pick lessons yes. is easy yep. okay you know that yep. whole entire idea came from Tara Salento Oh, she's so cool, isn't she? <laughs> isn't that genius? And yeah, that was it's... all her idea. So I always have to give and her I'm a, credit. Sorry, and I'm a visual person as yeah. well, even at work. So you can tell me, but show me and I'll be fine. And that's what I think makes it a lot easier as well. And right. then once you've done the, you know, you can complete and it just moves you on to the next lesson if you want to do it. If not, just, you know, click down the sidebar and just go into the next one you want to do. Okay. Yeah. Woo, that yeah, makes me so happy. It. And I will yeah. make sure that Tara knows that feedback. Yes, because definitely. I still am like, what would I do without <laughs> you, Tara? That's amazing. Awesome. <laughs> and if people are um, specifically beginning their mixed media journey yep. and say they're only joining the Mixed Media Society, where would you recommend them starting? Say they've never done it before, or maybe they've done just the workshop. So they have like, or just a couple of YouTube videos. So they might under, they might do like a hamburger. Where, where would it be a good place that you, I know where I recommend them to start, but I'm just wondering, since you know all the things, where would you recommend a beginner to start? From the top. So basically go through your videos where you go through what, um you know mod podge is what is to below all is go through all that because i know that you know i'd used to below all in my journaling and all that but just the way that you've used it the way mod podge you know i used mod podge probably 10 years ago in scrapping right. and you know it was a horrible consist it was horrible like when you said mod podge in one i went oh my god no then bought bought like i'll buy the big one now um 
And I just thought the first time I thought, oh, this consistency is so different to where what we used to use 10 years ago in scrapping. So just go through each of those, just the explanation of how how you can use what brushes, what mixed media you need to use. I think that for a beginner is the easiest way. And have a play. Like yeah. have a play on a scrap bit of paper yeah. with a bit of Mod Podge and a, a stibula oil or um, you know, some uh, I bought some absorbent ground about um, three weeks ago because I'd never used it before. Mm -hmm. And I found that was fantastic, you know, with the the um, watercolours. Water you know? So it's all that before I was just using gesso. Yeah. And, you know, there's a lot of things in Australia that are hard to get, but, mm -hmm. you know, we'll try and try and try to get what we can. So, um, but just start from the top. Just take your time and read your advice. It comes in, it's a wealth of information. Oh, good. Now, are you referencing specifically the Karen's World Classroom, the new one? Do you know? Have you had a chance to look at that yet? Um, I've looked literally at some of it. <laughs> brand new. So I didn't yep. even know. Okay. So yep. because that's sort of like a shortcut to exactly what Correct. you're talking about. So I exactly. wasn't sure you were referencing yes. that specifically. Yep. Okay. I was thinking that too, but I wanted to hear it from a student because again, like, you know. I'm so much easier from a different perspective. Okay, excellent, good, I'm, I'm really glad that helps. And just so you know too, Karen, um, and this goes through for every single student, if you have ideas for me, or if you're like, God, if you're ever sitting around being like, God, I wish she would just do this, like that would be so <laughs> helpful. Like I literally, like I want to hear your suggestions. I okay. really do because, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I have a bird's eye view of all this yes. um, yeah. and I'm, um, so I, I like to hear from people who are in the trenches because I'm absolutely always willing to like make your experience, you know, you're paying money to show up for me. I want to make sure that the experience is the best that it can be for you in return. Definitely. Oh, there's so. no, yeah, there's no qualms here whatsoever. As I've said before, um, you know, love your classes, love your, the way you teach. And that's what has made me grow as a person, as far as my art's going. Well, I think you're doing a phenomenal job and you just make me so proud. And you're, Thank you know, you. <laughs> when I see you going do these five-year-old lessons, I'm like, yes, girl, like, yeah. yes, like, get it. <laughs> Those are still as valid. Well, and I think too, because art is like evergreen. It doesn't expire. You know, the techniques Correct. don't don't get old. They don't go out of style. And so it's exciting. And the techniques. Yeah, yeah they, exactly. It's the you learn you just learn from yeah. and as i said before mixed media is my favorite i just love the hamburger i just love it because i love that layering and layering and seeing what's going to happen in the next layer so you know for new students out there just try it it's only paper it's you know it's paper and your time and some supplies so right. just go for it you know we've all stuffed up somewhere along the line it's typical australian saying every single project i screw yeah. up every <laughs> single one so yes I'm, it's nice to well, hear that from other people i wear this wind cheater that's or sweat as you call it yes. that's um this is in my room and you know i'll just show you something this is the sleeve to the sweat <laughs> so and you know and i'll be drawing and i'll think where did i get that big blue smudge across something it was from my trusty wind cheater <laughs> so you know and you think oh well doesn't matter we'll just cover that up with you know if a watercolor we'll just cover it up and you know with acrylics you just cover it up with some white or some gesso it's Bloody. just all a learning curve that's all it is and it's a fun learning curve it's so i never fun. feel stressed i don't feel stressed oh good because it's, yeah you just so good yeah it is yeah. <laughs> yeah. i love it yeah it's and it's the best attitude to have because what are you gonna do and also it, it doesn't matter like it's I always exactly. want to be like, no one was hurt during the production of the <laughs> media piece. Like it's all, you know, like it's it, all good. Exactly. You know, it's not, we're, we're not Picasso. It's not going to go in the Louvre and no, you know, it's no going to go in our little books or we'll, we'll frame it and put it in our room or our house because yeah. it gives us pride, you know? So that's what you just got to, just got to remember, you know, for all the newbies, just go for it. You know, it's that easy. Yeah. yeah. I <laughs> agree more. Oh my God. Thank you so much for talking with me. It has really meant everything. And I just love seeing all your pieces. And um, yeah, if you have ideas or suggestions or, you know, just, you know, I'm very accessible. So you just let me know. I know you are.
I'm yep. listening. So um, <laughs> and I care very much about your experience and what everybody thinks. And if there's anything I can do to. No, def- look, it's like, it's a great experience for anyone that is in it. And I mean, I suppose the only thing that I don't like is, you know, I can't get on the Zoom calls because of the time difference between Australia and the US. That's the only thing. But, you know, we can't, you know, that's nothing. I can always watch it later on, but that's probably the only one thing. But, you know, that's no big deal. It's not a big deal. <laughs> I know. That's a tough one. I really should yeah. sit down with, like, a world clock and see. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, see. <laughs> how... You'll be up for 24 hours. How many minutes I could do that country, that country, that country. <laughs> well, certainly once a month we could have a super early one for me. So, you know. to so and a, a late able, one for me. Yeah, exactly. To be able yeah. to allow more people to come in. So that is, that's a good that feedback, could, though. That I could mean. be. Yeah, that could be something good yeah. for the southern countries, the southern hemisphere countries, once a month or once yeah. once a quarter even, just to get together and, you know, maybe put yeah. that in your, you know, going forward. It could be really good. I'm going to make it happen. Yes, for because I know there are a lot of people in Australia that do um, do your classes and go on to the, yeah, um, there are. the awesome art school. There's, yeah. yeah, so that could are. be another option. I love it. I'm, I'm writing yeah. it down because that's absolutely <clears throat> feedback that I need to, yeah. that I need to pay attention to. So thank you for that. Thank you for that reminder. No, that's, that's the only, you know, feedback. Yeah. It's not negative or anything, but it'd be great to be a lot, you know. No, I know it be, is. And I don't want yeah. anybody to miss out on that opportunity. So thank yeah. you for reminding me about that issue. Yes. So no, no, look, thank you for, um, you know, your support and you're always supportive of every student that's in there. The girls and yourself are always open to questions and always helping out. They're just amazing, you know, with it's just a great group and it's, you know, great classes and no one should ever feel intimidated or that they can't learn anything because you will. It doesn't matter what you think, you will. I think there's learning in every project, every single yeah. one. I, I think so. And Definitely. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Karen. It was oh, no, such thank you. a pleasure. I'll probably see you on Facebook in about five minutes. but <laughs> I'm sure you will. Don't worry about that. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. And That's right. You too. And you take care and stay thank safe. You. Thank you. We you will. Too. And we'll talk soon. That sounds amazing. Definitely. Thank you so much. Bye from the land down under. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, wow.